Okay, I think we are recording. Am I allowed to use names? Um, you can use... Since our friend uses her name on her blog. Yeah, I think you can use Judith's name. Yay! Then, but you probably shouldn't use... My gay husband's name? Well, yeah. I'm just going to say my gay husband. All right. Why? Why would you use his name? It's his birthday that day, too. Oh, really? They share the same birthday. Did I know this? I can't remember. I don't know. Do you remember the birthday videos we made for her last year? Yes, we did. Those were this fun. is an excellent audio post for her birthday this year. Yes. We should submit it on her birthday. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, dear Judith. Wait, that's little... coming up really soon. Yes, the 15th. That's Change like a week. Mm -hmm, that's perfect. Okay, okay. Anyways, I'm sorry. I keep interrupting. Please, it's okay. It's please okay. start. Alright, so dear Judith and slash my gay husband, mm -hmm. we, we have your personality profile for your birthday. Your birthday is April 15th. I didn't give it to you. You gave it to yourselves. I'm sorry that you're tax babies. But um, it's called the Day of Human Definition. Your potential strengths are that you are dominant, organized, consequent. Consequent? What is consequent. that mean? I don't know. I should, should look it up. We should look it up. Consequent. Like C-O-N. It's like consequent, like consequential. Maybe that's what that means. Consequent. When? You are of consequentialness, you two. That Definition means you're very of consequence. Following as a natural effect, result, or conclusion. Oh. That just doesn't sound familiar. Okay. But how are you consequent? How can a person be consequent? Maybe it means that they're out of, like, they're consequential. Like, you know, when something Like they're of importance? Yeah. Like but everybody is of importance. Apparently not according to this book. <laughs> Only Thumbs certain up. people, and okay. you guys are it. There's two of you, and you guys get to be up constantly. Judith and your gay husband. All right, let's yes. continue. All right. Um, your potential weaknesses include judgmental, self-involved, and restricted. Wait, that's what it said for the last one, too, I thought. No, I read it to you in, in advance. Oh, I said. <laughs> but I don't think that Judith is self-involved. She's going to say thank you, you know. She's going to be like, thank you. Or judgmental. Uh, restricted. I don't know how she's restricted. Judith, you're going to have to enlighten us. How are you restricted? Because well, I... Well, maybe we should think outside of the like... box. Like, judgmental, maybe not in the typical way. Oh, that is judgmental. true. But, but you know, what? restricted, maybe not in the but, typical way we think of it. But it's supposed to be a weakness. Yeah. You're trying to turn it into a strength. No, I'm just saying yes, we you can are. look I see that smile. You look, totally are. We can look for weakness. No, no. I think it means what it means. Okay. Fine. Sorry. I'm sorry, Judith. All right. Realistic to the extreme, April 15 people are definers of life as they see it. It is the human condition which interests them and which they must measure, describe, and delineate in everything they do. Wait, what? What are you wanting? <laughs> Why does it not? I need to just pay attention, otherwise I'm going to ask you what after everything. <laughs> okay. Do, do you want me to reread it? Yes, please. Okay, one more time. Take two. Realistic to the extreme, April 15 people are definers of life as they see it. It is the human condition which interests them and which they must measure, describe, and delineate in everything they do. On the everyday level, April 15 people are busy structuring, giving shape to the needs of family and friends. Those born on this day are involved with what others are eating, wearing, thinking, and doing. Does that make you nosy? I don't know. <laughs> Often they become over-involved, and this is where the trouble starts. <laughs> That's awesome. Those close to April 15th people can come to resent this close observation and begin to hanker for both privacy and independence. That doesn't sound at all like her. Sweetie, I don't resent your close observations of us. In fact, I welcome them. Well, okay, okay, close observations in that way, but I thought you said about, like, clothes and stuff. Yeah, but clothes and eating and wearing, thinking and I've doing. I've never had Judith. She wants to stalk our thoughts. I know, That's I've never about. had Judith. Judith, you're stalking our thoughts. Get out of our heads. <laughs> I've never, ever had Judith been like, what are you, you know, uh, okay, anyways, continue. All right. Um, if April 15 people go one step further and begin to impose their moral judgments as well, they will certainly face resistance. However, for more dependent personalities that need the guidance of a strong hand, April 15 people will fill a necessary role. Judith, we just need someone who needs a very strong hand for you to guide. That is That's my <laughs> The inspirational qualities of April 15 people can indeed be great. I think 
think that that's true. She is very inspirational. For sure. For sure. Those, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Thus, those who are touched by their brilliance may come to worship them, becoming passive in their presence and receptive to their wishes. I think this is why we all think that Judith is God. <laughs> This is awesome. This is her right here. Maybe not the other stuff, but this is totally her right here. Unfortunately, the less highly evolved April, April 15 person may have little or no interest in the welfare of others. Therefore, in instituting personal moral beliefs, he she may act the role of petty dictator. That's not you, Judith. It is a challenge to April 15 people to define clearly their relationship with those around them and be able to back off, both leaving others free to choose for themselves and situations to go as they will. For example, sometimes an enterprise or endeavor which has not been going well is better left to dissolve. So, therefore, Judith should let things go. I don't know if you do, but I think you should. <laughs> That's good advice for all of us. I know. Yes, I tell you that all the time. Yes, dear. <laughs> if the April 15 person tries to hold it together out of ideological stubbornness, he, she may be doing everyone a great disservice. Ooh. Openness and acceptance are important lessons for the April 15 person to learn, which I think you have learned. I think, is, I think it can always be strengthened for everybody. Broadened. Yes, this is true. But I think Judith has learned a lot. And therefore, she should get cookies or gold stars. Judith, I don't, I'm not, I'm not like disagreeing with Rach just because I'm, I'm doing it because I think that sometimes we not all this mean to put on a birthday thing but i'm just thinking that sometimes we can put people on pedestals and like really elevate the good things about them and it's not that the, the they may come to worship you that's what she's saying <laughs> and i think she that, is scared I think of worshiping that, you i think that you're awesome i just worry about saying that like that that you don't have flaws she does we all do <laughs> anyways but you have good flaws. i don't know if we should send that part to her i can cut it out okay those born on this day are remarkably adept at planning and founding new structures, organizations, or institutions. Generally, it is best, however, that they relinquish command of them to... Oh, excuse me. I am not reading this right because I'm swinging in my chair too much. All right. Generally, it is best, however, that they relinquish command of them and thus be free to but move on to new pursuits. What are we relinquishing command of? Emotions? Planning and founding new structures, organizations, or institutions. Oh, interesting. There's okay. nothing about emotions there. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Um, so you mean free to move on to new pursuits. Alas, their talents for maintenance may tie them to their creations, resulting in a repetitious existence in which they are unable to grow. Hmm. April 15 people should beware of apprehending their environment too literally. Their bent is so practical, efficient, and down to earth that they may fail to fathom direct expressions of the human heart. April 15 people sometimes neglect youthful fancy in themselves by demanding an adult approach to all things. In their definition of what is human, they should consider the embryonic, childlike, and irrational aspects of humankind, as well as the more mature ones. Hmm. Also, it is important to them to remember the value of humor, of playing the fool once in a while, and not taking themselves so seriously. Those born on the 15th day of the month are ruled by the number 6, and by the planet Venus. Those ruled by the number six tend to be charismatic and sometimes even inspire worship. The theme of sexual magnetism may figure heavily in their lives of those born on this day because of the influences of Venus and Mars. Um, sometimes April 15 people provoke the very irrational tendencies in others which they have repressed in themselves and since Venus indicates a desire for harmony. Um, April 15 people may be confused when things don't fall into place as planned. I hope I said that okay. Should I repeat you that? No, I don't know you, that did, you did. You it did. It was a very long sentence that I wasn't prepared for. No, it makes sense. It just doesn't sound like her. Um, you know. Anyways, uh, please continue. I shall continue. Right, part of the challenge here involves bringing Venus and Mars into balance so that masculine and feminine, active and receptive, can both be accepted and expressed in an easy manner. Your tarot card is the devil. It indicates mm. a fear slash desire dynamic working where sexual attraction, irrationality, and passion are concerned. Mm. The devil holds us slave through our need for security and money. He represents our base nature grasping for security. He controls us through the irreconcilable differences which exist in our male-female selves. The positive side of this card is sexual attraction and the expression of passionate desires. But the card reminds us that although we are bound to our bodies, our spirits are free to soar. Very, very... Zenny? Yeah. Zenny, zen. 
I often, oh, sorry, this is the health section. Often, because of intense matters at hand, April 15, people neglect their body's condition. Judith, if you're neglecting your body, I'm going to be very mad. Mm. This may come as a surprise to others who know April 15 people to be knowledgeable about health and concerned with keeping their life running smoothly. I hope you're knowledgeable about health since you taught college students. And since she does hospice care. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It may also be the case that April 15 people know much more about health than they do about disease. It sounds strange, but those born in the state should perhaps at times give in to minor illnesses to the periodic need of their body to readjust or even break down without becoming frantic about immediately getting well. That's April 15 people should be aware of fantastic approaches, or I'm sorry, not fantastic, fanatic approaches to fitness. Since their appetites are usually good, they would do well to eat a highly varied diet. I'm sorry, did I interrupt a comment, Wifey? No. Okay, good. All right, advice. Learn to be more open and accepting. Watch children and learn from them. Irrationality is not always to be feared. Express yourself without fear of rejection or looking foolish. Have fun. I like that. Have fun. I think Judas should have all the fun. Have all the fun. All right. And your meditation, which I think you should take to heart since you do meditate, is getting out of the way and letting things happen is sometimes the very best thing we can do. The end. <laughs>